And we're back, guys. Jeez. It's been a minute since I've talked to you guys. Or, you know, three months. It's been a minute, hasn't it? Well, anyways, today's video is on glowfish. Glowfish are something that I've always wanted because they're just cool. Who, who doesn't want a glowing fish? Let's be honest. All right, guys, we're back. Yeah, in this sweatshirt, got cold in here. I had to charge up my battery because camera died, you know. Man. But as I was saying, today's video is on glowfish and basically, all the background, the beginner stuff, everything, everything you need to know, the history of it and all. Um, so let's get right into it. Glowfish are a newer species that people like because they have fluorescent scales, and that means when you put them under a black light, they glow. I know, right? A glowing fish. But like, they're a glowing fish. They were genetically modified. Originally, they were zebra danios that were genetically modified to show off impressive fluorescent colored scales under a black light. They grow, glow, not grow, glow brightly. And there's many colors of these. There's pinks, purples, greens, oranges, yellows, blues, reds, and they're pretty cool. Come on, come on, they're pretty cool. All right, um, they can live up to three years under moderate to good conditions. Um, the minis minimum size aquarium you'd want for these, I would say, like, a lot of websites, they say five gallons. No. I don't think any fish deserves to be in a five gallon. That is super small, even if it's a small fish, like a, a zebra daniel, a regular zebra daniel. Those are tiny. Those are, like, this big when fully grown. But I don't think they deserve to be in a five gallon. That is super small because they're they're a schooling fish. But back on topic, I don't think glowfish. I think a ma minimum size glowfish aquarium should be 10 gallons. The max should be somewhere around 25, 30 gallons. Um, that that's my opinion there. Other websites say five gallons to 20, 20 gallons. I just think that's a little small for them because of the hiding places they'll need. But we'll get we'll get into that later. Um, the water conditions for these fish should be around a 6.0 to an 8.0. That's a very wide range of uh, pH there. Then uh, water temperature, they're a tropical fish, so you're going to need about 72 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit with weekly water changes, as with any fish. And then, as I said earlier, they're a small fish. They want plenty of hiding spaces in case they get frightened. Um, sorry if I'm looking above you guys. That's my script. What can you do? I don't want to be like stuttering, but uh, Yeah, in case they get frightened Along with hiding places, they're gonna want a decent amount of substrate to move around as they wish um, Just so that they can kind of escape along along their own to what they like um, Let's see here. Where was I? Now oh, that's where I was if you're planning to put other species with these glowfish Make sure that these species aren't faster than the glowfish with their swimming because that can frighten these. Like, not frighten, but they can stress the glowfish out. And stressing a glowfish out can lead to death eventually. And no one wants their fish to die, let's be honest. But, uh, yeah, so. Gotten. <sighs> Cut. Alright. Now into their eating habits. Alright. Glowfish should eat twice a day. Not once, not three. My opinion is with bigger fish, they can eat once a day, uh, a little bigger of a portion. But with glowfish, they're small fish, so feed them twice a day, but smaller portions. And then you gotta vary it up. This is also with any fish, you gotta vary up their diet a little. Me personally, I don't because I don't really have income. And that means I can't really get the food that I want to vary up the things I have for my fish back there. Uh, back back there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just I just feed mine flakes. They're doing fine. Yes, I should vary it up. But basically, um, you're gonna want to change it up and uh, 
you're gonna want flaked food, pellets, and or thawed freeze-dried food, such as shrimp or tilapia. Tilapia, tilapia, same difference. Um, and then like every couple of days, just switch it up for them because you don't want them to get bored with their diet. Um, so yeah, basically that's it on the goldfish. Goldfish, these are not goldfish. Glowfish, <laughs> that's it on the glowfish. Um, like and subscribe if you liked the video or if it helped you out in some way. Leave a comment if I uh, didn't do great on a part or should do better on a part or add this or add that or leave this out, leave that out. Just comment what you thought of the video. Thank you and uh, see you next time.